down in Elter Water today and I'm going to climb a brand new Wainwright only the fourth one of this year not many people have done it this way I think uh, I can think of Ashley Arnold, Dave Ostel and Eric Warnsley got quite a bit to talk about today as well I'll leave that till later on forecast is not too bad so we should be in for a really good day why not come along with us so the beast is parked down there in the National Trust car park and uh, a nice little pub up there which we uh, may go into later on but uh, straight out the car park we are walking across this little bridge lovely blue skies as well oh yes and look at that up there already we haven't got out of the water yet so nice to be back out again so I've literally been going about four or five minutes if that see the sign here held the water in and we're going to take a right here Coniston the sign says it also says challenging option don't like the sound of that either way that's the way we're going yeah it's been a while since I've been down there held to water it's a place me and Mrs Metal Man tend to come and uh, we'll do a nice circular walk round a few waterfalls go up the cathedral caves but a different walk today so I'm doing it out and back I could make it a circular walk but given that's the first time I've been out doing a new way and right since mid April I'm just going to take it nice and steady today well already I'm off course uh, so busy as always yakking away to the camera I've missed me turn off to the right having said that looking at the map if I continue on this path for a while should be another turn off and I should be able to meet up with the uh, track that I initially plotted well one thing with all the uh, rain we've been having this year it's making everything look really green and lush but it is a nice walk up here it's been nice and quiet I mean when I got the car park it was about quarter past seven in the morning I was up this morning at four o'clock and so far I know early days yet but uh, I haven't seen one person so I just kept on walking up there and this must be that little path that I saw on the map so we're just following this uh, path through the woods there's the internet interconnecting path there so instead of that I've climbed all the way up there to drop all the way down here to find the same path typical of me anything for hard work either way two minutes we'll be on the right path again well down from there and uh, back on the path we should have been on how the hell do you miss a path like that either way is it the longest night tonight yeah tonight or tomorrow last year in one week I did 15 Wainwrights yeah Ashley Arnold and his wife were over and they're very kindly uh, give me an open invitation to come on any of their walks with them we did a 15 miler I think a 12 miler in the same week I went out with Alan from 54 degrees north and we did 10 miles at the end of the 10 miles we got in the car we drove over to Ullswater got the camping packs on and then we did a wild camp so far this week I've cut me grass front and back done the neighbours as well been to the gym and went shopping with Mrs Metal Man hopefully this is the start of getting back to normal I'm sure there's some sort of cave up here I'm watching uh, Dave Ostel's video he's actually just finished doing all the way right and he did his last one on Binsey he did a wild camp his first ever wild camp and uh, I would love to have joined him to be quite honest and he might turn around and say why didn't you then it's a very fair point the forecast was terrible but I'm really pleased for him that he had a decent night which proves the point sometimes you just got to go for it so that's the path we'll come up from and our first proper view of the quarry just down there which is still a working quarry 
yeah, I was hoping to get out with uh, Dave today actually. He, uh, he asked us if I fancied coming on a walk with him. Uh, and it was a time when, to be honest, I was just getting over that uh, pneumonia and uh, God, I was ill. And I uh, said, so there's absolutely nowhere I could uh, manage it at all. But we will be doing a walk with him. Uh, Leo from Leo Manor Mountain asked if I fancy doing another one and uh, yeah we will be doing that again at some point in the future. Well very slow progress being made up this path but I am keeping my eye open because there is a sharp left. It can't be much further and then uh, we'll be heading cross country and making our way towards the summit. Well that was a lot clearer than I was expecting. Came up here there's the path straight on, but there's a sign there. Lingmore and Side Pike. Well, I did Side Pike with Mrs. Metalman about five years ago, I think. We'll see the sign there for Elter Water and Langdale. But you cannot miss that quarry there. Either way, that's where I'm heading. I know they've got the great Langdale campsite, I think, uh, down there. So I don't know whether that's it or not. Once I get my fitness back up again, I had intended to come and camp there for a couple of nights and get all the Langdale Valley done. But uh, seems quite optimistic at the moment, the way I feel. But uh, once I get a few more of these on my belt, I'm sure I'll be fine. So we're heading up through the ferns. We've got a lovely sound of the wildlife. I mean, a cuckoo in the background. And now that the uh, the quarry's hidden, you've got some lovely views all the way around. Well, just in case the weather does change when I get to the top, uh, it's like a quick uh, flight of the drone there. So, for anybody thinking about walking with us, not only am I slow, not only am I filming, I'm now getting out the drone, setting that up, and flying that as well. So, you could be in for a long day. Well, quite a nice little path to follow. When we get to the gate. So it looks like you've got to climb over it. And it does look like a very clear path going up through the ferns. So it must be on the right track. I can't believe how much I'm huffing and puffing today. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I've been out, but I did get told off the doctor, when you start feeling better, it's going to take another four to six weeks to get back to where you were. You've got to give yourself plenty of time. So that looks like Elder Water down there. That's where the beast parked. And that's the path that we took. Basically, following this wall all the way up. To be honest, it's nice hiking weather. It's uh, not too warm. I think it was 12 degrees. Well, yeah, yeah, God, 12 degrees mid-June. I think it's got to get up to about 15. Uh, but for me that is perfect hiking weather it is getting a little bit dark so I bought one of these waterproof ponchos that are uh, packed down to next and out fit in your your bag uh, nice and light uh, as well as covering you up the cover of your backpack up as well if it does rain I'll be able to put that on and uh, hopefully it is waterproof and uh, I don't look too much of a tool uh, wearing this Anyway, fingers crossed we won't need it. And just while I get up to this point here, we've got a very, very nice seat. And even though I've been making slow progress, even though it's getting overcast, it would be far too rude not to sit down, have a quick bite to eat, and uh, just admire this view. So whoever put that there, very, very well done to you, because I'm going to enjoy it. Nice little breather there, top's coming off, final push, I reckon, what, five, maybe it's ten minutes to the top, and then I'm going to have a canny little break there. If you're enjoying what you're saying so far, and you're not subscribed, and you want to see more days out like this, click on that subscribe button, and do it now, so you don't forget, there'll be plenty more days out in the future, exactly like this. Well, we're still heading up, following the path through the ferns, but it has been a very good path to follow. And uh, apart from the huffing and puffing, uh, I've really enjoyed it as well. Nice to get back over the lakes, nice to get back on a way and right I've never done before. This walk from Elterwater, I've thoroughly enjoyed. 
you're gently going up, you go up through the woods, go past the quarry, and you will stop yakking and start hiking a bit more. God, I'll never get my fitness back at this rate. Well, that's where we came from, where we dropped down. And again, we've just been following that wall, which is going around there. And I remember thinking about five minutes ago, oh, that looks like the top there. So, you get there, no, that's not it. You get the next one, no, that's not it. Then you drop down. So you get up there, I think, I wonder if that's it. No. Go up here, then go drop down. And they'll say a further drop. And then, one up there. No complaint. Just so pleased to be back over here again. Just so pleased to be dry. And uh, see a bit of sun as well. Think of the people who build these walls. Look at them. Just go on and on and on. Right, final push, surely. Well, as regards views, this is definitely the hike that just keeps on giving and giving. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I felt that I'd be on my radar for a while to do. I've just left it and left it, but I'll tell you something. It is absolutely fabulous. And hopefully, when we eventually get on that summit, we should have even better views. Fingers crossed. It's going up quite steeply here, which isn't a problem going up. But since I'm doing it out and back, I've got to come down this way, so... Uh, I'll be taking my time, and I should have brought me the pole as well, which uh, I forgot. Must be my age. <laughs> and a little sting in the tail. A little scrambly bit up here. But looks like that's the end of it a little style here and I keep saying it We've got to be close to the top surely Ooh. top of Lingmore fell 1540 feet 469 meters I will be coming back here as well because it's going to be a special place for me this so and I've really enjoyed the hike as well so I'm going to spend a bit of time here having a good break you can see the quarry down there you can see the lake over there <sighs> absolutely fabulous hopefully you've noticed at the start uh, a little piece I put in there from a, a very very nice uh, lady Lynn, Lynn Taylor who sadly passed away yesterday she was a member of the Facebook group Alan Metal Man Outdoors she used to watch all the videos she used to leave some lovely comments and she always said she would love to come out walking with me and Mrs Metal Man and get on top of a fell together. Unfortunately that's not going to happen now which is a real shame and I know she was going through a bad time and I mentioned this I didn't mention her name but I was talking about her last year when I was on the top of Raven Crag and she was fighting a battle and it was a battle to be honest at the time she was winning and later on we thought and she thought she'd won so I was really sad yesterday uh, when I read that she's not no longer here with us she didn't want any doom and gloom she wanted to be happy thoughts happy memories of her and that's exactly what I'm going to do so I'm making this video in honor of Lynn uh, it's going to be a celebration a celebration of her life because she was a, a lovely person and we did talk on uh, Facebook and I said she did comment on the videos and all and very very encouraging she was as well so she'll be a big miss so it is heartbreaking to be quite honest but again I'm going to make this a celebration a celebration of her life and although she never got to do a fell with us I'd love to think that she's here with us there now she had a great sense of humor so hopefully she was having a good laugh when I got lost there right at the start and every time I do this fell I'm going to think of Lynn and I'm going to think of other people that are in a similar situation as well because I tell you something, no matter how much money you've got, you cannot buy good health. When you've got it, use it. Anyway, Lynn, this is for you.
few more people on the summit there now. But one thing I've done all day are these fabulous views. Sky is looking real moody, which I love. And hopefully them clouds don't drop any rain. So here's that little sketchy bit, a little steep rubbly path around there. I thought I might be able to bypass it. Anyway, I got halfway around, found out it was even worse. So this is the way I'm going down. My three lads there give me the shock of my life and they're going behind us. Uh, either way, they've made that look very easy indeed. Irrespective, I'm still going to bum shuffle it down. And there go them three lads and I've just got down there. Thank goodness nobody was filming it. The thought of trending on Twitter, too much of the bear. Either way. I don't like the sound of that, I don't even hear it or not. You hear that, you think it's either police, ambulance, or fire service. When you're in the lakes, you tend to think it's mountain rescue, so hopefully there's nobody in need of them today. And there's a the helicopter there going over there. Oh dear. But I tell you something, thank goodness for them. Especially for us lone walkers. I know Mrs. Metal Man hates me going out by myself. Uh, so I do try to walk as safely as possible. But no matter how safe you walk, or you think you're walking, uh, anybody can have an accident. That's what I'm going to concentrate on. And also where I'm putting my big bloody feet as well. Well, might have a quick breather. Maybe it's a good time to answer another question and it's from my lovely friend Asanis over in Sweden and she asked the question have you ever been lost before uh, on a hike the answer to that is yes <laughs> many times for about 15 minutes this morning I was lost I can laugh there now but you get on top of a summit and there's a variety of paths going off and sometimes you're so excited to get to the top of a summit you forget to look around and look at the route that you need to take back because if you get on the wrong route you can end up in a different valley so the answer to your question is yes numerous times uh, but any more questions put them in the comments and I will get round to answering them well just drop down from the uh, the ferns and back at this point again so that's the way I came up past the uh, the quarry but I actually came over that way because I went wrong somewhere so I want to find out where I did go wrong this morning uh, I'm sure Ashley Arnold uh, took a wrong turn when he did his, I could, if I'm if I'm wrong I apologize but I feeling he did and uh, I was determined not to make the same mistake he did anyway I didn't I made a different mistake but anyway, I want to find out how it happened. Well, I'll drop down from the uh, the woods there. And this is the point this morning where I came out of there where I took a wrong turn. This is the path I should have been on. And I think I was walking parallel with it. Hopefully I'll be able to find out exactly where I did go wrong. So far, we're on point nine of a mile an hour. <laughs> yeah, that is my walking speed. I mean, fair enough, I have had a few extended breaks, especially at the top. A few people up there came up there, so I had a good chat with them. Uh, been filming, obviously. I sent the drone up twice, and then a few chats to people who were coming up when I was coming down, uh, including Bob, who uh, recognised us. So, nice to see you, Bob, anyway. Well, I come down from there, and what a lovely path that was as well. And... Uh, it looks like we need to take a right here, which I'll be doing. And that should take us to Elder Water Hall. And I remember walking past that this morning, so there must be a turn off there that I missed. But uh, anyway, let's see if I'm right this time. This way, maybe it's a slightly longer back than the way I went up. Uh, better paths able to walk a bit faster so I'm actually up to one mile an hour now uh, average for the day <laughs> right so this morning I came up this road here and I continued straight up there real rubbly uh, path and this is the turn on my map 
uh, the way I planned it that you wanted you need to go down here so you got a bit of road walking i would say but it is a good path real good path so if you've been watching this video and you're thinking about doing this uh, route hopefully it hasn't been too com confusing for you but if you need any advice or you want to ask a question about the route just stick it in a comment or send us an email well, if you enjoyed the video really would appreciate it. big thumbs up and uh if you want to see more that days out like these click on that subscribe button and not only will you see other days like this, you'll see days out in Northumberland, North Yorkshire Moors and the Yorkshire Dales. You'll also see gear review, festival reviews, hotel reviews. If you're interested in any of them, I say click that subscribe button. But I'll tell you something else, it won't be too long before I'm back out again. Cheers.